What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to yet another day of foot freeze. Today is day four. Very excited to see who we've got in store for the player SBC, of course, today back with the 6 p.m. content. The one thing I want to mention before we jump into this is, um, and I'm fairly sure it's pretty apparent, but the, the players we've got coming up, obviously we've got a uh, Spanish striker. I'm gonna try and, there we go, right. So we've got a Spanish striker today. Um, obviously yesterday we had the uh, Bailey uh, SPC, and then before that we had the Christian, I think it was Christian and Saudi. And then before that we had Marquinhos. Now, obviously the one after the Man United striker looks like a Italian striker or Italian player, whatever, I don't actually know. Italian player, I think he's a striker. Um, so it looks like they're doing all the leagues. Now, obviously they've already done Ligue 1, Syria. Now they've done Bundesliga and they're going to do Prem with um, the Manchester United player. So it makes you think, are they going back to League 1 or are they going to a different league? Um, obviously it could be Chinese League, Liga Nos. I don't know how many Italians are in Liga Nos or that kind of stuff or Chinese League or MLS or anything like that. But um, if they're not, it looks like they might just be going round in circles with uh, Liga 1, Syria, Prem, you know, League, League and Centre, Dare, that kind of stuff. So we could possibly be seeing a Italian Liga 1 striker who isn't normally a striker which could be interesting i don't know if that's a thing but that could be that could be the case but who we've got today we have who do we have today who do we have today where is he oh okay okay yo well, that's uh that's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie that's pretty cool i was expecting a sergio ramos but we've got instead a jose gaia who, um, obviously, as you know, I'm pretty sure he was previously a left back. Now he's a striker. Um, I mean, pace, excellent for a striker. Finishing is insanely good. Passing, very good. Well, I mean, it's okay. Long passing, yeah, not not too great, but it's not the worst. It's very, it's very uh, even in some respect. Uh, dribbling is very good, very very good. Defending obviously has been reduced quite a lot, uh, and. Physicals looks like, well, they look really nice to be fair. Um, okay, strength, really good stamina, okay, aggression as well. So I actually I actually quite like this card. It actually looks like quite a fun, different striker. Um, team player, solder player, not that kind of interesting stuff, but he's got three star weak foot, four star skills, five, eight, high, medium. Uh, we might have to go check out what kind of boost or downgrade and what we're obviously defending downgrade he actually has but uh, what we're saying for the squad I would say hmm what did I say for this one so an 86 striker from Liga Sands and Dare I would say an 84 would probably be fair I think if you do anything more than that it's probably a little bit a little bit not worth it 84 84 with the team of the week that's actually very respectable I'm actually going to go ahead and do this so I'm going to complete the squad. Once I've done that, I'll be back in a second. It'll probably take me about three years, so bear with. Okay, so there we go. There is my squad complete. Um, again, may not be totally the most efficient, um, but I think this is probably one of the cheaper, cheapest kind of ways of doing it. Uh, I've used just players in my club that I'm not going to be using, and they're relatively cheap, to be fair. So we've got Leno in there, who is about... He's about 10,000 coins, so very cheap, 85. We've got Thomas Party in there at centre-back, who's about probably just under, we'll say seven. He's probably just under, but he is about 7,000 coins. So we're saying about, what, 17 in total for those two. Then we've got uh, El Arabi uh, in form 84 there, which is perfect for us, who goes for probably about 15,000 coins. Again, a very cheap 84. So in total, we've got about 30K there, and then we've got Kimmich, the only real kind of expensive player and he goes for about 40,000 coins. So that's like, what, 70? Uh, I don't think Julian Brandt is actually very expensive at all. He might be like 5k, so maybe, what, 75,000 coins? Um, I don't think it's bad. I think the card you're getting for it is is very good. Obviously, if you've got a Liga Santander team, it's just a bit of fun, really. It's a fun card. You know, it's a left back that's now a striker, uh, very similar to the whole like Van Dijk at striker back in for birthday whenever it was but uh, I just like it it's quite nice it might be slightly more expensive than I, I think you probably want to pay I think 50k is probably adequate but it's it's in that region it's what 75 65 thousand coins I don't think it's bad at all that's how I've done it 
if you can do any cheaper go for it um you know it might be cheaper just to use like a team of of like 84s um you can, if you can do that instead of sticking like an 88 in there but there we are so there is my uh gaia complete he is going to walk out so so nice look at it what a weird guy doing the penguin walk nice but yeah there we are so very very good looking card um nice cool so there's that we're gonna have a quick look at what uh oh we have actually got these as well um i completed all the like, some of the loans anyway because i thought in friendlies anyway it would be um quite interesting quite interesting to uh to use those well because they don't expire that's what i was more going at um anyway so let's have a look what um freeze challenge we've got in store for us today we've got obviously the still upgrades which is very nice you love to see it got chero mobile um freeze challenge so we've got rare electron players pack okay moving up in the world you know slightly better pack than it was before i think clubs maximum five players on the same league minimum four so you have to have minimum, okay, place from one club, maximum three, rare players three, 75 rated, very easy stuff. Again, we're going to go away and complete this, probably in the most expensive way possible, and we'll be back in a second. Okay, so there's my team. Um, surprisingly, actually quite tricky. I mean, for me, because I'm quite stupid, but if you just pay attention when it tells you right up here, you'll be uh, you'll be A-OK. -okay. Um, the one thing, I don't, know, I, I don't know why I found it so tricky, because when you look at it, all you need is players from one club, maximum three, um, players from the same league, minimum four. Clubs, maximum five. So you can't have any more than five clubs. So, you know, you have to have a bunch of players from the same team. Um, but, I mean, you could do the same league. So you could do, like, a full Bundesliga team, pretty much what I've done, besides with a few uh, League Santander play players. But only have, you know, maximum of five clubs. As long as you don't exceed that, then, then you're golden. Um, and it's very, very easy stuff. So there's another pack to add to our um, upcoming pack opening video as I'm pretty sure you already are well aware of and I just want to have a look see if there's anything else kind of going on in this game um so any more leagues no more leagues any new icons don't imagine so they'll probably pop up at the front when they in the wood and there's not so I can't stop still there cool and I believe that's it so upgrades Gaia cool each one double a grow. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to jump over to Foothead now and we're going to have a look at the new Gaia. Right. Obviously, an 86 card. That's where it's coming in at. It's about 50,000 50, coins. So pretty much on target for what I did it. Maybe a little bit more expensive. Probably get away. Like I say, if you do a full team of maybe 84s and 83s, probably would be a bit cheaper than just doing like a, a full uh, 88 rated player. But um, I didn't have any. 84s or not enough so i didn't really want to go buy any but anyway so guy's original card of an 83 83 left back uh already obviously still a very good card uh at left back um you know for this stage in the game it's actually probably still quite fairly usable it's only about 2,000 coins but uh so let's have a look what kind of upgrade he's got so obviously a, a pretty big pace pace boost of plus five plus 23 shooting which is pretty mad. So plus 25 on finishing, positioning plus 19, shot power 23, long shots 22. Very, very nice. Very, very nice upgrade. You love to see it. Uh, plus four on passing, which is equally as good. Um, not that his passing was bad before, but now it's just even better. So again, you love to see it. Um, plus five on dribbling. Again, as you can see, across the board, plus fives. Very, very nice. And plus nine on physical. So he had 63 strength before, now he's got 76. Stamina's gone up by a bit, that's quite nice. All that kind of stuff you'd love to see. And then defending's gone down by 23, wow. It'd have been really interesting if they had just kept the standard 79 defending. I don't really see, I get he's a striker and he probably isn't, you know, defensively um, all there. But it doesn't really matter, I suppose. It doesn't make much difference. They haven't changed his serials. 4-3. I just want to see if they have changed it or not. Because, uh, no, okay, they haven't. It would have been, it would have been again, an interesting upgrade if they changed his uh, skill moves and stuff. But uh, medium high, again, I wonder if that's changed at all. Sometimes they do. So it's medium high, no, so none of that's changed. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting card. And 
you love to see those kind of position change, like left back to striker. You love to see it. You love to see it. So I really think this being a very affordable SPC, uh, 84 rated, you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I do think tomorrow, though, with the uh, whole Manchester United probably will be very, very expensive uh, just because EA and Premier League, you know, one of those... If it's a usable card, it probably would be quite expensive. I mean, this is quite usable, I think, and it's still quite cheap. So, uh, you know, big props for that. But hopefully they don't uh, they go, don't go mental because that kind of is what this promo is about, isn't it? Like, you know, really fun and interesting cards, or it is now anyway. It's kind of foot birthday, isn't it? But uh, it's just about having really fun, interesting cards that don't play in those positions. And that's all we want, really, just to have them, you know, slightly more affordable, even though... This one is uh, negatively <laughs> downvoted, but I, I, in my humble opinion, do think it's quite a fun card for 50,000 coins. Not very expensive. Again, it's just a bit of fun. So it doesn't, you know, he's not going to be an end game player that you're going to use to the end of the year. It's just probably quite a fun player you can use maybe in friendlies and that kind of stuff. But it is what it is. So that's that. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Uh... I was just having a look at some of the comments on uh, Foothead and there was one that, that caught my eye and it was uh, people complain about the same cards in every promo that when it's something different and fun they hate on it screaming for their sweaty Adama. This is a cool card and easy enough to do for pre pretty much free. Uh, and I, I couldn't really agree with that. Uh, I, I couldn't agree with that more because um, a lot of people especially on Twitter were saying oh it's going to be Adama Traore which it, it wasn't because you could see where the league theme was going. You know, Premier League after today, it was obviously going to be Liga Santander. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. People want fun. And then when they get it, it's like, oh, this isn't what, this isn't what I wanted. So it's uh, very hypocritical. But either way, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do drop it a like. That would be very, very much appreciated. Of course, that will help the video and help the channel out massively. Uh, if you want to see more of this content, of course, we're doing this daily, every day of the week. Um... Uh, or whenever they release these hopefully it's every day uh, we are going to be doing 6 p.m footmas foot freeze content um every day and of course i'm going to be doing um the road to glory and draft to glory as well hopefully in the midday i think draft to glory is going up tomorrow midday so if you want to stick around for that please do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family but with that said that's today done so hopefully you have enjoyed thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.